Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll discuss about word expansion in SHA-512 algorithm. In our last class, we have given the introduction and how we do padding and how we add the length field to the sh in the SHA-512. Please watch those classes and come back here. This is a continuation class. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So what we understand in our last class is the entire message is divided into blocks of 1024 and each 1024 is sent into a compression function. For the compression function, one more input we are going to provide 512 bit input as given. The output which we got in the first, first block is 512 bit. This 512 is given as input to the second compression function. This 512 is given to the next compression function and the first 512 is the constant values which we are going to give. So what's these constant values we are going to discuss in our next class. So this is what happens. This is a iterative method and the last 512 bits we call it as message digest. So now what happens inside this com compression function? Inside this compression function, this 1024 bits is taken and in SHA-512, compression functions convert this and this works in the form of words. What's that words means? This 1024 is divided into 16 words and each word is of size 64 bits. 16, 64 bits. We call it as, a, we get a 1024 bits. So this input is divided into 16 words and similarly we, we call these words, we call output in the form of words, 512 bit output which we got here. This is divided into 8 words, 864 which is 512 words, 512 bits and each word is of size 64 bits and this is, these, this output is, words are numbered as, it was labeled as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So everything in the form of words. Similarly, in this compression function, this 1024 bits is converted into, here we explained for understanding purpose, we explained it in the form of 16 words. But actually inside this compression function, it is divided into 80 words, each of size 64. How 1024 bits are converted into 80 words? That we are going to understand in this class with an example. Now coming to this, this 1024 bits, uh, first they are converted into W0, W1, so on up to W15, means uh, 16 words, numbered as W0 to W15. Using these 16 words, remaining words are generated, W16, W17, so on up to W79. All these words are generated using this uh, W0 to W15. How they are going to be generated? So this is the formula which we are going to follow in order to generate the remaining words. So if you want to generate W16, means WI, here I is 16. So this can be generated using WI minus 16, 16 minus 16, which is W0. So we are going to consider W0 from the previous words. Similarly, rotate shift of WI minus 15. What is this rotate shift 1, 8, 7? These things we are going to understand later. Let's now, and the next word which we consider is WI minus 15. Means 16 minus 15, which is W1. And we are going to consider W1 also. W0, W1. Similarly, the next word which we consider is WI minus 7 means W16 minus 7, which is W9. So, word 9 is also considered and rotate shift of WI minus 2, 16 minus 2, which is W14 is also considered. Here, rotate shift of 19, 61, 6. So, what is this rotate shift function? Let's try to understand later. So we are considering these four words, means here wi minus 15 is sent into the function of rotate shift function. Whatever the output you got here, that is sent as input here. Similarly, wi minus 2 is also sent into the rotate function, rotate shift function. Uh, and the output which we got from this function will be considered as 
here as the input. All these four words are added. Addition modulo 2 power 64. Because each word is of size 64 bits, all these four words are added. Whatever the output you got, that is mod sent into the modulus 6 2 power 64. Why? Because in order to bring back to again to the 64 bit words. In order to do that, addition modulo 2 power 64. That is what we are going to do here. Addition means here, addition modulo 2 power 64. So now try to understand, so uh, the output which we got here, we consider as W16. Similarly, W17, similarly, W18, similarly, W79. So W79 means 79 minus 16, 79 minus 15, 79 minus 7, 79 minus 2. All these words are considered the previous words. That is how it will go. Now try to understand what is this rotate shift of wi minus 15 187. What is this function? So rotate shift of wi, assume that it is wi, l, m, n. Here l is 1, m is 8, n is 7. Here l is 19, m is 61, n is 6. So whatever it is, the function goes like this, rotate shift of wi, if you hear wi means 16 minus 15 which is w1, rotate shift of w1, the word w1 is considered, rotate, what does that mean is, rotate right l times, circular right rotation l times, take the word w1, do the circular right rotation, here l is 1, means 1 time. What is right rotation? 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Right rotation means uh, this one is rotated to this circular right rotation. So you are going to get 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Like that, uh, take the word W1 means it is having 64 bits. Uh, right rotate, circular right rotate one time. And the output which we got here is XR with, uh, again take W1, right rotate M times. Here M is 8 times, W1 is right rotated, circular right rotated 8 times. And again this is exclusive odd with shift left N times. It is not a circular shift, it is just a shift, shift left. Here L, here N is 7 times, shift left 7 times means in the starting place 7 zeros. Remaining bits are shifted. All these three values are exclusive R and the output which we got from these three values that is taken as output here. That is what rotate shift of W i minus 15 187 means. Similarly, rotate shift of 1961 means take the word W 14 here, 16 minus 2 which is 14, rotate shift circular, rotate shift 19 times. Same word, circular rotate shift, right shift 61 times and left shift 6 times. All these are XOR and the output is sent into the addition modulo 2 power 64. This is how we generate the W16. Similarly, we are going to generate the next one W17, W18 so that we are going to generate W79. Total how many words we have generated? 80 different words have been generated. All these 80 words are used in this compression function. Inside this compression function, we are having 80 rounds. Each round is going to use one word. So in our next classes, we are going to understand how these 80 rounds will be, how they are going to do the, all the things will be understood in our next classes. Hope you understand this class. If you have any question regarding the concept, Please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.